Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about depletion region in a PN junction. A PN junction is formed by doping a single crystal silicon semiconductor with P and N type semi impurities as shown in this figure. One side of the semiconductor is doped with P type impurities and the other side is doped with N type impurities. The meeting point of P and N type regions is known as junction. The part of the semiconductor doped with P-type impurities have holes as majority carriers and acceptor ions that are charged negatively. Similarly, the N-type part that has electrons as majority charge carriers and donor ions that are positively charged. Since it is a crystal, single crystal semiconductor, there is a concentration gradient of holes from P to N side as well as there is a concentration gradient of electrons from N to P side. Whenever there is a concentration gradient, then the carriers that is holes and electrons move or flow from higher concentration region to a lower concentration region. Here, is, here we have a figure which shows the flow of electrons and holes due to concentration gradient. Therefore, the holes flow from left side to right side and the electrons flow from right side to left side as shown in this figure. During this flow of carriers, the holes get recombined by electrons and the electrons get recombined by holes. Because of the recombination of charged carriers, the acceptor and donor ions in P and N type regions becomes uncovered. That means there are no carriers along with ions as shown in the coming figure. The region where there are no mobile charges and only bound or fixed charges are present is called depletion region. It is also known as space charge region. The immobile charges are formed negatively charged layer on P side and positively charged layer on the N side. In other words, a positive potential is developed on the N side and negative potential is developed on the P side. The potentials prevent the further flow of holes from P to N and electrons from N to P side. This potential is known as barrier potential or contact potential. 